Pop the confetti, Resolum 7.5 is ready. In this video, I will run you through the newest features and improvements in both Resolum Arena and Wire. The complete change log can be found in the description below, so let's get started. First up, in Resolum Wire is the option to send and receive MIDI program changes. Program changes can be useful in conjunction with audio and lighting gear to change presets on the fly, and the same is true for Wire. The first node is the is program change node that outputs a boolean if the incoming MIDI message is a program change. Program change reads the program change from the MIDI in node. And finally, we have the write program change node. This can be used to send program changes from wire to other pieces of gear. Also new is the trim node. The trim node works similar to the crop node in that it is used to cut parts of the texture off. The big difference between the two is that the crop node doesn't touch the actual resolution of the texture, and the trim node does. Crop makes parts of the texture transparent. Trim removes the pixels by reducing the texture size. Note that the crop node can be manipulated in real time, where the trim node has no parameters and has to be configured in the inspector instead. And while we're on the subject of adjusting texture dimensions, you now have the option to set the resolution of a node to half, a quarter, or an eighth of the patch resolution. Besides the divisions, there are also multiplications for those who need them. But be careful with those, as most GPUs don't like rendering 64K textures. We have made a few improvements to the instancing system. Let's start with a small one. The linear node now has an include max parameter. This one is on by default and it simply means that the final index of the node is equal to the max value. 9 times out of 10 you want this to be on, but when you are offsetting oscillators you might want to turn it off. An offset of 0 is virtually the same as an offset of 1 or 2. Disabling the include max can be a clean solution for this. On to more instancing goodness with the upgraded read node. The read node is now capable of linear interpolation. Before you were only able to read indices such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 whole numbers. But with this update you can now let wire calculate the values in between the two indices. Allow me to demonstrate. Here we have a single circle going into a transform. I have a circle pattern node outputting 8 x, y coordinates in a circular fashion. I am using the read node to read the coordinates one by one. As you can see, the movement is very clunky. Now I set the interpolation mode to linear in the inspector. As wire interpolates the values in between the indices, we get a fluid movement. And this can be further improved by increasing the amount of points in the circle pattern node. Where you would previously need 360 points to make a circle, now you can do it pretty consistently with just 24 points and interpolation. A nice application of this would be the tracing of a polygon. Here I have used the float2 collection to create the polygon shape. Next, I have created a small circle which I am transforming before rendering it out. I have a saw node whose amplitude is equal to the size of the polygon collection, so in this case 5. Next, I use the interpolated read to get the values in between the points and move the small circle over the edges of the polygon. The final instancing change is something we call automatic instance spanning. It's both a quality of life change and a new creative tool. Before this update, all nodes in an instance path were required to have the same amount of instances. From now on, Wire will add the required amount of instances automatically by repeating the incoming collection. In this example, I have 10 rectangles and a circle pattern node also set to 10. Nothing new here. But the linear node only has 3 instances. When I connect it to the transform scale and hover over the inlet, you can see that Wire repeats the collection coming from the linear node. The same is happening over here, where I send a gradient of 5 colors to 10 shapes. The colors get repeated. The final update to Wire is another quality of life improvement, this time regarding organization. You can now align nodes to the bottom and to the right. You can now distribute nodes. And finally, you can stack nodes on top of each other. Now you have no more excuses to publish messy patches. 
Moving on from wire, Arena got some love in the DMX department. We have added auto span and align output, which will help you let strip lovers out there. With auto span enabled, Lumiverses can contain multiple DMX universes now. No longer do you have to chop up your LED strips into multiple Lumiverses. And we've also added this nice scroll bar to scroll through the universes within a Lumiverse. Align output makes sure that when the Lumiverse gets expanded by the auto span, no pixels are split up between two universes. This is because most devices won't accept a pixel spread over two universes. And that was it for this update. We hope you will enjoy the new features. If you want to keep up with everything Resolume, make sure to check out our weekly live streams on YouTube and join our Slack channel. I'll see you there.